Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Steady, are you ready? Uh, good morning. I love you today. My lipstick's all over the place. Good morning, Chelsea. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Okay, so good morning, everybody. Live from Chicago. This is Coffee Talk, and I'm your host, Jerry Seinfeld, and I'm so happy to be here. Kristen, I got the gold Canyon candles. Thank you so much. We have the pumpkin one burning in our office every day. It is delicious. Thank you, everybody, for the warm welcome uh, to Chicago. Thank you. Shout out to Michelle, who works in Nordstrom, who saw me yesterday walking through Nordstrom and was like so excited to meet me and to see me and made me feel so welcome to her city and such a beautiful representation of the people of Chicago. Um, so, thank you to the people of Chicago. It is beautiful in your city. Don't let the news fool you. I'm sure there's dangerous parts and bad parts and stuff, but Chicago is amazing. Um, the people are so lovely. It's kind of like a toned down New York actually that's what it reminds me of um lots of shopping lots of eating lots of drinking let me tell you about the people of chicago they know how to party um we went to see jerry seinfeld last night so i have to tell you guys the funniest story so you know i turned um you know i turned 43 in october and my bucket list for this year, one of the things on my bucket list was to see Jerry Seinfeld live. Um, I grew up loving Seinfeld. I grew up Jewish, right? Like, he reminds me a little bit of my dad. There's a whole thing there, I'm sure. Some subconscious daddy issues thing. I probably have Jerry Seinfeld daddy issues. I don't know. But anyway, it was part of my bucket list, right? So we pull up to the Chicago Theater last night. And the line when I tell you is down the block around the corner and down another block, you wouldn't believe me. You've never seen a line of people to get into a place longer than this line. It, it literally looked like New York in the Great Depression. I've never, when we pulled up, I thought it was a joke. I, I thought it was a joke. So I said, let's go to the other side of the theater. We thought we were slick. We get out of the car and I'm like, oh, this line is much shorter. It only goes to the end of this block. We get to the end of the block where the line proceeds to go down the next block and loop back up. Y'all, when I tell you the bells looked at me like you and your fucking bucket list could go scratch your ass, it was cold, it was like drizzling. The, the line was so long and they were so gracious and sweet because it was my bucket list and they were like, fine. But let me tell you, they did not want to wait on that damn line, okay? That I could tell you right now. Nobody was feeling that freaking line. Anyway, I promised them it would go quickly and we would make friends and we did and it did. Once they opened the doors, the line started to move really quickly And hold on. Already blocking people. It's nice. Um, so anyway, we went in and saw Jerry. He, he was on stage for one hour. Nice and tight. Just like I like it. And you know what? 
Not one curse word. I could have easily taken my children to see that show. They wouldn't have gotten a lot of the humor because it was mature humor, like thought-provoking life humor, like, you know, comparing, you know, the kind of breakfast our parents used to make with Pop-Tarts compared to like the pressure parents are under now. My kids wouldn't get that humor, but I could have taken them there. I really appreciate people, like I curse, so this is gonna sound really actually ridiculous that I'm saying this because I have the grossest mouth ever. But I actually really appreciated being to take being able to take the bells somewhere on my bucket list where they weren't going to be accosted by, I don't know. I think Danielle was very relieved that it wasn't. Anyway, um, Chris Rock was in the building to support Jerry Seinfeld. I love that. He thanked Chris at the end of the night for coming. Um, but he was very, very funny. Very funny. I have to tell you. It is not easy to still be funny at 65. Jerry Seinfeld is 65 and is still so funny. He's as funny or funnier as he was when he had the show. Good for him. Which leads me to today's... Um, I saw Jerry Seinfeld, Melissa, which leads me to today's conversation about bucket lists. Some people think they're a little hokey, okay? And I get that. But life is all about timed experiences, right? I don't care what anyone says, and Jerry actually discussed it in his show last night. Everybody plans things that are special to them. We plan birthday parties. We plan graduation parties. We plan girls' nights. We plan uh, vacations. We plan sex. We plan our weekends. We, human beings, are planners. We like to know what's happening and where we're going and what we're doing. It gives us something to look forward to. And I think in some ways, it makes us feel like we're not going to die. Hear me out. We all know we're going to die. But I think when we have a lot of things on our calendar, we feel like, well, I can't die this month because I have, look, I got the graduation party and I, you know, I got that dinner for the guy at work and, you know, I got uh, the girls night and, and I got that thing on the weekend. So this isn't the month I'm going to die because I'm very busy. See? We plan so we don't die. That's my theory. I don't know if I'm right, but that's my theory. So for me, I make bucket lists so I don't die. It's really that simple. I have a lot of things on my bucket list for 43. Not a good year for me to die. I got a lot of things I want to accomplish. There's a whole list. Can't die this year. Sorry, God. As you can see, my dance card is full. Um, and I really believe that there is some level of subconscious control that we have over our planning and our bucket list. And it makes us feel like we're kind of in control of our lives when we know we're really not. And I could actually keel over today on the street of Chicago and die, poof, just like that, pain-free, preferably. Um... And I think there's something to be said for that. So when people mock me or tease me, which they do, they say, um, oh, you have another bucket list? Because I have like a lot of bucket lists. I have like bucket lists before I, before Olivia goes to high school, bucket lists for 43, bucket lists while I'm at this weight, bucket lists, blah, blah, blah. I have all kinds of bucket lists and it's just a way of me kind of controlling who knows what, but it makes me feel good and I like it and it gives me stuff to look forward to and it keeps, keeps my mind occupied and maybe it could do the same for you. That's all I'm saying. So seeing Jerry Seinfeld 
was part of my bucket list. When I told the girls in August at lunch that I wanted to come see him, they were like, let's go do it. We'll go to, um, we'll go to Chicago. Of course, we weren't thinking what Chicago would be like in November. God loves Chicago, but it is, it's a cold damn city. Why do people got to hate on what makes you happy? Oh, they, I have no idea. So anyway, I just want to share that with you in case you're thinking about making a bucket list. I fully, not only do I fully support the bucket list, but I actually encourage it. Get a bucket list. Start checking things off, adding things to it. Never let it end. Just keep going with the bucket list. Put something on there you know you'll never accomplish. I'd like to go to the crucifixion site of Jesus. Okay, good luck finding it. Somewhere in Jerusalem. I don't know. Maybe, if even. See? Then you keep it on there. You just keep going, can't I? Um, no, Shelly, I have not been talking about death a lot. So it's not me, sis. I try not to talk about death. Although I'm not scared of death. Oh, uh, well. I mean, that's not entirely true, but no. I have not. But everybody make their bucket list today and don't forget to fall back tonight. Tonight, you set your out clocks an hour back. So we get an extra hour in Chicago. You get an extra hour of sleep. And that means that you get an extra hour tomorrow just for you. Use it. Sleep, read, journal, watch Coffee Talk, drink coffee, whatever it is that you want to do. But don't forget to fall back tonight. Daylight savings is neither daylight nor savings. Talk amongst yourselves. All right. I love you guys so much. I would love to hear the kinds of things that are on your bucket list. I'm going to sit with the bells in a minute. Um, please comment the things that are on your bucket list so I can read them with the girls. Okay. And I'll just write back to you. Um, all right. I love you guys so much today. Have a great, great day.